not wise, ladies. It's not wise. It's not building up your husband. It's not encouraging him. It's not comforting him. It's not only doing him good. It's embarrassing. Hey there, beautiful homemakers. Welcome. My name is Angel and I am your digital homemaking coach here at Habits of a Homemaker, where I teach you how to cultivate godly character and habits within your home for the glory of God. So today, ladies, we're going to jump right on in and I'm going to talk to you about being a woman of discretion. Be cautious of what you share. I see this so often, especially online where women are just blurting out everything. You do not need to do that. You don't need to get on Facebook. You don't need to get in somebody's YouTube comments and you're just sharing, oh, you guys pray for me. My husband, he just got laid off of his job. He was making $40,000 a year. And now I just don't know what I'm going to do. I'm so frustrated because our sex life is spiraling down and my kids are getting on my nerves and my mother-in-law sucks and blah, blah, blah. Ladies, it may sound funny, but there are women who do that. I have seen it time and time again, and I'm telling you, it's not wise. You are tearing down your household with your words and with your indiscretion. Be a woman of wisdom. Be a woman of noble character, a woman of grace, femininity, a woman that her husband can trust and rely on. Ladies, in Proverbs 31, verse 26, she opens her mouth in skillful and godly wisdom. And on her tongue is the law of kindness, giving counsel and instruction. Are you a woman that is opening her mouth with skillful and godly wisdom? Or are you just being ignorant when you speak? You have to be so mindful of that, ladies. Don't speak foolishness and don't speak foolishly. I love this. Proverbs 31, verse 10. A capable, get this, intelligent, <laughs> okay? And virtuous woman. Who is he who can find her? She is far more precious than jewels and her value is far above rubies or pearls. Get this, number 11. The heart, hear this ladies, the heart of her husband trusts in her confidently, relies on, and believes in her securely so that he has no lack of honest gain or need of dishonest spoil. Ladies, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to read that again, okay? The heart of her husband trusts in her confidently and relies on and believes in her securely so that he has no lack of honest gain or need or need of dishonest spoil. Verse 12 goes to say, she comforts, encourages, and does him only good as long as there is life within her. Hallelujah. I can have a praise break right there. She comforts, encourages, and does him only good as long as there is life within her. Ladies, I feel the Holy Spirit right there. I feel the Holy Spirit. If you want to know what you can do for your husband, baby, comfort that man. Encourage that man. And do him only good. The Bible says only good. She does him only good. But get this. As long as there is life within her, as long as there is life within you, that means that every day that I am blessed enough to take a breath, that means that every day that I am on this earth, as long as there is life within me, even if my husband were to go before me and there was no life within him, but there was life within me that I'm still only doing him good, that I'm not going to bad mouth his name. That I'm not going to dishonor him. I'm not going to talk bad about him to his children. That I'm going to only do him good as long as there is a life within me. Hallelujah. Don't get online. Don't call up your friends and your family. Dishonoring your husband. Making a fool out of him. Belittling him. Emasculating him. I remember seeing a post one time where a woman had took a picture of her laundry basket. And her husband had his socks outside the laundry basket. And she proceeded to post that picture up. She wrote this long caption 
about how her husband can't just put his socks in the laundry basket. How he's essentially like another child that she has to pick up after. Why can't husbands just put their laundry in the laundry basket? And she proceeds to write a caption demeaning him, embarrassing him, emasculating him because she's comparing him to a child and then asking other women to participate. Hey, leave a comment if you are a wife whose husband acts like another child that you have to clean up after. And just to see hundreds of women commenting in agreement, it was absolutely disgusting. And then all of these women just continued and proceeded to demean their husbands and just talk about all the things that just annoyed them about their husbands. Whether it be leaving the socks on the floor, the fact that he doesn't wash the dishes how they want. Just little petty things that they began to spill onto a public platform. Not wise, ladies. It's not wise. It's not building up your husband. It's not encouraging him. It's not comforting him. It's not only doing him good. It's embarrassing. It's demeaning. It's emasculating. It's dishonoring. It's disrespectful. It's not showing love. It's not walking in the ways of the Lord. It's not honoring your marriage. It's not honoring your man. So ladies, I know that this video might have been a little tough pill to swallow for some of you all. And that's okay. Because those who know me, y'all know that I'm only here to build you up. I'm here to encourage you in the Lord. I'm here to help you cultivate Godly character and habits. Godly character. Because that's what matters, ladies, is our character. As a homemaker, godly character and habits within your home to glorify God. That's not just something that I just say because it sounds good. We read about the Proverbs 31 woman. It's her character and her habits. Those are the things that glorify God. And so, ladies, I want you to be women of discretion. I want you to be a wise woman. I want you to be a woman that another sister looks at and says, my God, this is a true Proverbs 31 woman. This woman honors God. She honors her family. She does her husband good. That's the type of women that God wants us to be. So I hope this video was edifying to you. I hope it challenged you to be better. We all can continue to grow, myself included. We all have areas that we need to grow in. And I'm constantly every day asking the Lord to grant me with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in all areas of my life, especially as a wife, as a mother, as a homemaker. Let's all join together. And let's do that, ladies, so that we can be the best women of God, the best wives, the best mothers, the best homemakers, the best stewards that we can be for his glory so that we can shine his light into this dark world. So I love you ladies so much. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you watch till the end, please leave a sunflower emoji and let me know, okay? Y'all are the real MVP. And I thank you so much for taking the time to fully and thoroughly watch this video. Please share with another sister today so that we can all become better and we can encourage each other. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye ladies.